There are concerning reports that snowplow operators in the greater Toronto area are increasingly becoming the targets of abuse and harassment. In some cases, the aggression is so bad that some contractors have resigned. CTV's Allison Hurst has more. A line of snowplows sit ready in Mississauga for the next storm, but there may not be enough drivers to take them out. During the March 3rd and 4th snowstorm, eight incidents were reported to the city of Mississauga of residents trying to stop a snowplow from entering their street. A city spokesperson says the abuse caused one of their contractors to resign. In a newsletter sent to constituents by city councillor Sue McFadden, she says contractors have been facing harassment and aggressive behaviour from some residents. That this behaviour escalated further at times to harassment and violence as residents damaged the lights and mirrors on our plough trucks while our operators were ploughing the road. Adding several staff resigned their position as they did not feel safe doing their job. Meanwhile, in Durham Region, during that same snowstorm, police say a man got into an altercation with a snowplow driver in Oshawa. A pile of snow had blocked the male's driveway after the large snowstorm that had passed through, causing the homeowner to become upset and ultimately assaulting the snowplow driver. Police say the driver was not injured and 32 year old Scott Patton is facing an assault charge. So the snowplow driver was plowing the road within the municipality. That is their job. That's what they were to do. It is important that they clear the roadways to make them safe. Um, it does often put snow at the end of people's driveways. That is just a reality um, that we face with snowstorms. Mississauga City staff say the snow event had some unique characteristics in that a high volume of snow fell quickly with mild temperatures causing wet, heavy snow for both residents and equipment. Allison Hurst, CTV News, 